Okay, so welcome back to uh, iPage video tutorial series. And today we're going to show you how to create an email address. So I've logged into my iPage control panel. And you can see here in the VDEX system, there's a section just for email. So to create an email address, I go to Mail Central. Should be the first icon in there. You go ahead and click on that. Um, it will tell me how many mailboxes I have available. So the plan usually comes with unlimited email, which is great. You can create as many email boxes as you want. Uh, the easiest way to do it is click here where it says create mailbox. Uh, now there is an option if you want to just forward mail. I know a lot of people like to just check one email box through Gmail, you know, you log into your Gmail account, all your email gets forwarded to your Gmail account or your Hotmail account or whatever account you happen to check most often. That's fine, you can create a forward and the system will let you do that. But for now, I'm going to create a full mailbox. Just click the create mailbox button. And you can see here that it asks me to give my mailbox a name. So I'm going to say, this is the name of my email. So test user at examplepage.info. If I had other domain names, I could use this drop down menu to select them. And I need to give it a password. So you'll notice that there are some password requirements, eight or more characters. It has to have an uppercase, a lowercase, and a number. So make sure that you're putting that in. All right. So uppercase, lowercase, and a number. Uh, you'll notice that while you're creating your mailbox, uh, you have a standard, a mobile, or a business type of email to select from. I'm just going to go ahead and select standard for now. But you can see that the mobile has active sync. So if you've got a smartphone, it will sync with your smartphone. And uh, you'll have your calendar and everything all in one system. Uh, the business has some additional features, and you see it tells you what all the wonderful features are as you scroll down. And just hit the continue button so that your mailbox creates. I uh, will give it just a moment to load up. And you'll see that it has created my mailbox. And notice here that it says that it takes about 20 minutes. Okay. So 20 minutes and I'll see you back then.